Right, so we're back in Star Control. My god, um, can't wait now. We need to go to uh, the Draconis star system because uh, the Ilrath have gone up there to attack the Thradash. We haven't met them yet. And they're probably not going to be too happy. I don't know if they will know that it was kind of our fault that uh, the Ilrath are going towards them uh, or have gone towards them and have now, uh, have now pretty much, you know, will soon take over the whole of Thradash or whatever. Don't know really what's going to happen. The Ilrath have just started moving. So I don't know if uh, they know that. I don't know if they know the Ilrath are coming. I don't know. So let's go and meet them. I uh, don't know what they're going to be like, don't know if they're going to be nice, they probably won't be. Um, but they could be, I don't know. Not many uh, things are nice. Normally uh, above, like, normally in the north things are quite bad, aren't they really? The Alliance. Um, let's go to this star, this is a Draconis star. Uh, but there is nothing here whatsoever. It's quite a nice star, so it's in lots of different colours, but nothing of use. It doesn't look like there's anything, any uh, ships or anything, so that's a bit of a waste. What about this one over here? Nope, nothing here either. That's useful. Okay, so... I don't know, where are they? Maybe there are only like um, a few specific stars. Maybe maybe Antilay. Oh, here we go. Here's some stuff approaching. They're quite quick. Not too quick though. Just burst past, so it might be a... Uh, actually, it might be a probe, so I'm just going to go straight past it. Okay. Ah, now these are definitely ships we haven't seen before. I don't know what they look like. They've got some strange kind of lights on them. Or something. Let's take them down. Should we take them down? Let's meet them. Save the game. They don't look particularly powerful, but they might be. They might have some really strong cannon or something really weird with them. But here we go, four of them. Uh, let's converse. So, what's this? An unknown alien species. How wonderful. Someone new to fight. We, the Tardash of Culture 19. Famous Erwan combat crowds know well the value of a good fight. Either you win and prove your superiority, or you lose and are vanquished. If the vanquished is lucky, it may survive to learn an important lesson from its defeat. This is the way of the Thradash. We fight and learn and improve. All other cultural schemes are inferior. This is a proven fact. What have you to say before we begin combat? Right, so the Thradash, um, they're part of the Urquan Battle Thrall, so they're gonna be hostiles. So let's uh, ask why. Har, har, har. We are not hostile. Hostility is unwarranted aggression. If you want to know about hostility, let us tell you about Order 12. Order 12 was so hostile that while they were on their way to their first great battle, Chunkha, the battle master stepped on Nusko, the tactician's foot, causing him great pain. Oh no. Nusko turned on his battle master, Chunkha, and sliced his body in half. <laughs> well, I, that, that escalated quickly. <laughs> took it upon themselves to murder Nusko and his elite troops. The real trouble started when now dead Junkka's master sergeants, Mu and Put, started arguing about how to kill Nusko. Simple crucifixion or the slower lit tattoo technique. The argument was resolved when Mu and his 500 troops were slaughtered by Put and his gang. Well, this probably all would have gone down in history as a great day of learning for Culture 12, were it not for the surprise arrival of Culture 12's original enemy, the Yajog and his cronies, who wiped out Culture 12's army, thus beginning the long and glorious Culture 13. Now that's hostility. We, on the other hand, merely want to kill. Right, so they, uh... They make as much sense as the oars, basically, in terms of their thoughts. Um, but it's kind of slightly different. They just kind of want to uh, to kill us. We'll just leave in peace, I guess. Before the lesson begins, we have so much to teach you. Let us show you just one thing. It's called the surprise attack. Oh no, the surprise attack! I hate the surprise attack. 
but we've also got a, a pretty good vessel. Let's see how they are in fire. Oh my god, they're very quick. Uh, <laughs> they haven't got much crew. They haven't got a lot. Of, they've got a lot of battery. They haven't got much crew though. Um, design flaw, perhaps. Um, I don't know really what the hell they're doing. They're just kind of flying around um, and I just killed them again. They are using up battery from that, so maybe it's like some sort of like weird fire cloud that you can fly into. I don't know. They're not, they're not very good. Um, I'm destroying them quite easily here. They haven't done a single bit of damage to me yet. Uh, they're kind of just flying around, having a good time, and then just committing suicide. Um, the Oquan, you know, they didn't didn't get a good ally here, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure that like the Chen Jesu didn't find these guys much trouble, unless I'm, I've just got a really good ship. Maybe they've got some... Maybe that weapon does like, quite a lot of damage, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's just get out of here, I guess. Where are we going? My, uh, I'm trying to get into this planet, but I keep missing. No, I thought... thought there might have been a... Um, that's the reason I went to Delta Antile, is because I thought... Because it's a blue star, and um, we were told by the uh, Sly Landry that one of the blue stars might have a rainbow world in it. Um, so I just checked. Oh my god. Well, here's uh, something. Possibly Threadash, possibly Sly Landro. It's a thread ash, okay. Oh, what a laugh! You are the least battle-worthy creature I've ever seen commanding a starship. We are the Iroquois fighting slaves of Culture 19. Please don't run away. We wish to be your species new role models. Unfortunately, to do this, we may need to blast you with your component atoms. What has made them this way? Why are they so brutal? Because like even the Urquan hierarchy, then they've got like a good side to them almost. Until you heard the story of Gorka Three, how brutal was Gorka Three to ask? Nope, not at all. I cannot be bothered to talk to you anymore. Goodbye. Ooh, what a comeback! What a comeback! You'll be attacking, but um, those who go on the offense don't always uh, don't always win, as you're about to find out. Um, Good job. Good nod, Knarg. That was a good effort, but not quite good enough. Here comes Wumps. I've got brilliant names, look at that. He couldn't even get away from my bolt, even with his stupid flamey thing. And that's a win. That's a win for me. That's 250 RUs. It's good, good for RUs, actually. They give you a reasonable amount of RUs. Not quite as good as the probes, because you basically just have to talk to them. Um, this might be a probe, but it might be just more thread ash. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I guess we're we'll about to find out. It's more Thread Ash, four more. Attention, weak, ugly humans. Upward that wallowing garbage scowl a ship. Unless you are even more inferior than we believe. And that's hard to imagine. You already know who we are. The Thread Ash of Gorka 19. We are the original Urquan fighting slaves. The cream of their elite forces. Your instructors in the harsh realities of life. It is time for your next lesson. We'll be going again. Yes, Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, good one. Now. I'm just gonna kill you again. We've almost got like a. Th we're gonna get like a thousand IUs just from talking to them. They haven't even given us a chance. Oh, jeez, they got. A oh, they got a hit on us. Just one damage. One damage of damage. One, one, one crew worth of damage. One damage of damage. Oh, that was close. They got another hit on us. This guy's a little bit better. He's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of flow to him, uh, but he's still he's still going to go down the drain in the end. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh no! Oh, that's just unfair. To be honest, isn't it? That's like that's like that is ridiculous. That's about forty times more damage than they've done. Like twenty, forty, whatever it is. They've done two damage to us. Twenty times more damage. Oh, and then I run into some stupid little thing. Did it even do any damage? No, no nothing at all. I can't believe they crashed into that planet. That's really annoying. Never mind. We've still got so much IU just by some more crew. Okay. So, the Thredash. They're not very useful. Um, there they are. They've, got, they've not got a very big sphere of influence. They have got so many stars, though. They've got the whole Draconis constellation. Uh, so, I guess... I guess they have got... A, in terms of the amount of stars that they control, they have got quite a, a, a big area. Um, let's check out this other blue star, though. I really want to find this rainbow world. There might be something in there. It's very, very close. 
and I'm pretty sure... No, that's not Rainbow World. I'm pretty sure that one in the middle is not Rainbow World. So, that was not the blue star. So what blue stars have we got left around this area to have a look at? Let's look at the uh, the map. So we've had a look at the ones up there. There's a few blue stars. I'm going to save the game. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to have a look at the quasi portal. I'm going to go and look at those blue stars soon. I don't know. Uh, so let's go back to Earth. Uh, crew up. Fuel up. We've used quite a lot. Got a few more RUs. We're not really using too much RUs at this point. Never mind. It's fine. Um, so yeah, back to Earth. We can uh, talk to Commander Hayes once again. Uh, we haven't done that for a bit. I'm sure he's missed us dearly. Back to Sol. So I don't think I've explained this before. Uh, you need to make sure whenever you're using the Quasi Portal to have at least 16 fuel left. Uh, it takes 6 fuel to drive from the uh, hyperspace entry to the, uh, to, the, to the Earth. So having 16 fuel, 10 for the Quasi Jump. Six for the way back. That's how you get back. So here we go. Commander Hayes. Captain, I'm ready to assist you. Before we proceed, I wanted you to know the show Fixty have returned. Their ships can now be built in our shipyards. With their vast numbers swelling our ranks, we won't have to worry about running out of able-bodied crew. And I'm sure their volunteers will reduce the cost for new crew. Also, this seems strange to me, and I considered not bringing it up, but not long ago, six of my people fell unconscious simultaneously for no apparent reason. When they awoke hours later, they reported being overwhelmed by a feeling of something very wrong that had taken place. The med techs couldn't find anything wrong with these crew members, but they discovered one correlation. All six of them have exceptionally high esper ratings. Well, that second one was a bit strange, but um, at least we now have the Shafixti, which is awesome. Uh, just drop off a few radioactives from that Rainbow World, but the Shafixti have returned, so now we can get one of their ships, which is awesome. We can actually go to the Year Hut and give them a Shafixti, and they will hopefully be very happy about that, or maybe, maybe very, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, hopefully happy. Hopefully happy that we've, uh, re re Rebirth, re restarted the Shafixti race. So we're all fueled up, ready to go. We'll all crew up now. Gotta get a bit of crew in there. We lost like a whole tank of tank of crew, a whole bay of crew from just crashing into that planet. I I suppose we did crash into a planet. I mean that's probably gonna do a bit of damage. Um, so I I guess I can understand that in a way. Um, okay, but now it's time to go out and. Uh, and and go to the hat since we've got Shafixti. Uh, we don't have a Shafixti actually. I need to go back and get one. That was close. That would have been bad if I forgot about that. I need to go and give them a Shafixti, and by doing so, we will be able to give them a Shafixti, hopefully. Um, and as you can see, because the crew, uh, because the Shafixti have returned, the crew now only equals one, which is really good. So we don't have to waste so much crew. Uh, I use on crew, but here we go, a Shafixti scout cost 500 so it's obviously not very good and only six crew as well so that's probably quite a terrible ship um, so we'll probably not want to just use them in battle but they it may turn out to be very useful in terms of getting the yay hat on our side so let's go out and drive towards the yay hat um, where are they again they're around the bottom right hand corner uh, so near the micon and the vux so let's go star map uh, which way is it again? Let me look at my map. It's this way. I've got a quasi space map. I've now got all of the, um, pretty much all the quasi coordinates. So I decided to print out the map on a piece of paper here, and uh, it's working pretty well right now. Um, so, right, the Yehat, they're down there. Let's see what happens when we give them a Shafixti. Uh, I'm not exactly sure um, whether the Yehat knew that Tanaka and the Shafixti Maidens existed because they didn't seem to make too much of an effort to re to reignite the Shafixti race themselves. So maybe they just couldn't be bothered or they didn't actually know of the existence of Tanaka or Katana, um, which is actually his son. Uh, but here they are, Yehat. Um, let's talk to them. This could be interesting, guys. This could be a major step forward in Star Control. Sailor, what are you doing back here? 
Are you totally off your perch? We have sympathies for your cause, tis true, but we must obey the orders of our queen, however much we may disagree with them. Right. This may come as a shock, but the should fix thee are reborn! If this is being a true thing, there will be many changes, but we are a species long wise in the ways of deceit. You must be proving these words you say, Captain. Send the show fix DT up as a way of... Alright, let's send, a, send him over. Let's go. Send him to the show fix We're going to make sure that we get these guys on our Tell side. The separation of a vessel from your fleet, Captain. And indeed, its configuration matches that of a show fix scout vessel. This had better not be a trick, Captain. We are knowing the power of a glory device, and if you detonate the weapon near us, the price for you shall be dear. Very dear. The scout has docked, and we await the pilot's appearance at the airlock. The atmosphere cycle is complete. The door slides open, and... It's true! The show fixed the airline! Look at that fat muzzle, those shining black eyes, the sweet claws! Our children have returned from oblivion! But now we are faced with the cruelest truth. We who have sacrificed our honor, we who have lain with the enemy, we are not worthy. We are nothing. We are less than nothing. But wait, we're the Spathy. We are the Yehat of the Starship Clans. We will not let us fly any longer. Listen, and I speak these words. If our queen makes this honorable command, then it is the queen who has no honor. And the dishonorable queen is no queen at all. We, the Zeep Zeep, are the only clan who remembers the true meaning of honor. We shall tear the queen from her throne, the 2,000 year reign.